dude, I'm 3 0. Yeah, I know. I need a woman army one. Hey guys, interesting is here. What's up? Welcome to week two of Tutorial Tuesday. How are you guys doing? Uh, today, you guys, of course, already saw the effect. Uh, I've ad now added it to the beginning so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. It's pretty awesome. It's uh, actually an Adobe After Effect. It's called CC Lenses. Um, it's kind of like a wavy, pretty sweet effect. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it in Sony Vegas. Now, I am using Sony Vegas Pro 10. This will work in 11, 8, or 9, or whatever Sony Vegas you do. I prefer 10. Uh, but whatever you guys use, it's totally preferences to what you guys like. Now, this effect was suggested by Medlins, so you guys can go over in the description. There's an annotation on the screen right now. Um, click that and go subscribe to him because he's awesome. That, what other reasoning do you need to subscribe to someone? All right, so you have your clip all prepared for the effect. You want to uh, key. Fr or go frame by frame with your arrow keys over left and right until you find your shot. So you can just go and my shot's right there. Uh, right click, insert video track, media generators right here. And your second one should be color gradient. Pick a uh, elliptical ring. You want to drag that down into the timeline we just made. And you're going to want to change your aspect ratio angle to 50. And your distance to 0 0.220. So 0 0.220. And that should give you a sweet ring with a nice glow to it, which is, you're looking for a ring like that. It's like a ring with some glow. Now what you guys want to do is click compositing modes and click custom. I'm going to be a bit laggy because I'm recording. Just click Sony height map, add and okay now none of this is a plug-in none of this is nothing none of this is you needing to download anything so it's completely from Sony Vegas just so you guys know now you want to keep both of these at a hundred just preferences for me you guys can play around with them if you guys want totally like I said preferences to what you guys like now the only thing that I suggest changing is height scale to 0 0.550 and you want to change your angled uh, pixel handling, you want to change that to wrap pixels around and your smoothness to. Now, let's like, copy that really quick. So, 100 by 100, you want to change your height scale to 550, uh, wrap pixels around, intensity, and 20 smoothness. You can just exit on out of that. And now, what you guys want to do is find where you actually want your clip or the effects to end. So, you guys don't want it to be too long. You want it to be kind of where the shots at, just a nice wave, like whoosh, right when you shoot. So I'm only gonna have it like maybe a second long. So I'll just maybe have it like this. Now you guys can of course play around with this more because uh, you guys want it to look nice. But I'm just going to click. We'll say right there, right where my gun disappears. That should look good. Uh, click it and just push S on your keyboard to split. Don't need that. Now you're just going to bring it smaller and you should have three options in the elliptical ring. You want to click a van and crop, which is the one in the middle. Now you're going to have something looking like this. Just scroll out with your scrolly thingy on your mouse. Somebody just logged into Skype. That's fantastical. And move your little doohickey thing to the beginning of the optical ring. And you want to stretch this out like that. And it should just be a small circle. You guys can go and make it like totally out as far as you can. Like I can't stretch it out anymore. So it should just be a small ring. You shouldn't be able to make it disappear, I don't think. Uh, it should look like that. And now you can click the end of your clip make sure you do this after you've made it the size you want because if you do it before and you put it at the end it's just gonna look really retarded um, and then right click restore scroll back in your ring and you just want to bring it in and now you shouldn't see the effect at the end and it's just like a wave that hits right at the shot boom just like that so it's almost like a shock wave and that's really the effect. Uh, one last thing you could add is you could click back event pan and crop and 
these little diamond things, aka your keyframes, you could right click them and click smooth and do that for both your top ones. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Yet again, there's an annotation to Medlin's channel. There's also an annotation right now to episode 1 and 3 of Tutorial Tuesday. Thank you guys for watching. Like I said, please like and comment. It helps me out and it lets me know how I'm doing for a job. Uh, thank you guys and I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace. I'm not Optic Hex by the way.